Okay, so today I'm going to try to teach you all how to ski in a matter of three and a half minutes. <laughs> so, uh, first off, what you need to know is preparing to go skiing, you will need some warm clothes. Typically, it's pretty cold when you go skiing. So, you're going to need Under Armour, Long Johns, insulated ski pants, a sweater, jacket, neck warmer, but most of all, you're going to need a helmet and goggles. Uh, some of you might think that a helmet might look dumb when you're skiing, but in fact, a lot of regular skiers will use a helmet just for safety precautions on the mountain, um, and you'll see almost everyone skiing with one. Once you get up to the mountain in a car safely, and it might have snow tires on it, you are going to have to buy your ticket. So when you go to the ticket office, you are going to be presented with a list of different tickets you can buy, like single day pass, half day pass, um, or you could also buy a season ticket, which in my opinion is the best because you can go whenever you would like. Um, a typical ski resort would have a single day pass for about $90, which is pretty pricey, but if they have a good base and most of their runs are open on the mountain, it's your average price for a single day pass, and it'll definitely be worth it. So once you have all your ski gear on, it's time to tackle the ski lift, and you have to first clip into your skis, which you have to point your toe in and clip down with your heel. Seems pretty easy, but sometimes it's a little complicated. And uh, when you get into the line, make sure to use lift line etiquette and take turns, don't be rude. And make sure that you have the right amount of people for the chair so that it's fast and efficient. When you get up to the lift line, lots of people are scared of ski lifts and I'm not really sure why, but you have to ski up to the first line, wait for the chair to pass you, and follow it up to the second line. Look over your shoulder for the next chair to come and make sure you tell the lift operator to slow it down if you're not quite used to the speed yet. And you simply just sit down like you're sitting in a chair, ride it all the way up the mountain, and getting off is really easy too. You just stand up and shift your weight downhill. So congrats, you're at the top of the mountain now, and it's time to have actual fun. So the runs that you can take, they range easiest to hardest, with greens being the easiest, and then they go blue, blue, black, black and double black, which is expert terrain. And the greens are what you're going to want to take if you're a beginner. They're groomed runs and they're really nice. There's no rocks or trees or anything like that. And so it'll be just a really nice run that you can take. And in order to start skiing, you have to use your poles to plant in the ground to help propel you forward. When you're going down, make sure to take turns with your poles, you plant it and turn around it um, just so that you don't get to go in too fast. When I was little, we learned that you have to do either french fries or piece of cake with your skis. So french fries make you go fast, piece of cake makes you go slower. In order to stop, you're going to have to plant your pole and turn around it and shift your weight just to stop quickly. So after you master all the greens, you can go and graduate to the harder stuff and ski moguls all day, which in my opinion is the best. And um, this has just been a great opportunity for me throughout my life, so if you get the chance to go skiing sometime, you should definitely try it.